this video we're going to unbox this RC it's a wing RC the name of this uh, wing is FTC Hunter it comes with three versions a kit PNP PNP plus FPV and you get a chance to choose between white and black color I chose PNP because I have a spare FPV camera and a VTX so I'll be using that uh, and I chose the black color because I think it's cooler right so I got this from Lazada just type in FTC Hunter and you'll be able to see this product the price price range for this uh, uh, item is between 1.5 to 4,000 depending on the version you will be getting okay so let's open the box let's see what's inside okay so here's the plane uh, it comes with the sticker for uh, additional design and this is the plane it's a wing plane wing type plane so I noticed that there's no manual inside the box so I don't know if there's really no manual or they just forgot to put it inside but if the maker of this FTC Hunter uh, is watching please uh, for future models please include the, the manual it's very important um, especially for uh, beginners okay so the material used for this uh, wing is an EPP foam it's very uh, durable the wing is flexible as you can see the center of the wing is sturdy um, I'm pretty sure that this baby can manage light crashes or hard landings so right now I can see there are two uh, servos uh, a brushless motor it's uh, an 1806 2280 kV inside there's a, a a flight controller and an ESC so let's open this uh, let's open the fuselage for us to see uh, the components inside This is the, the flight controller um, that will give you stabilized mode for this craft. So it will be very useful for beginners like me. But if, if I'm not mistaken, it comes with three modes, which is the beginner, uh, the, the stabilized mode, horizon mode. Uh, and the third one would be acro mode which is the manual the ESC is a, a, a 20 amp ESC 2 to 4 S lipo uh, which is a uh, can handle up until 3 amps the motor I, I, I'm not sure if this can handle uh, 4 S but what I have here right now uh, is only 3S, so I won't be able to try uh, the 4S uh, battery or LiPo for, for this craft. Okay, so next would be setting up uh, your receiver. What I'll be using is, oh, I, I forgot to mention this flight controller only supports s bus so uh you need to have an s bus receiver for you to be able to fly this uh what i'll be using is 
uh, an RX SR um, FR Sky. So I'll be showing you how to plug it here. After plugging it uh, or after plugging the, the receiver, I'll uh, show you how to create a model, um, setting up your transmitter, and then we'll do some calibration for the stabilization mode as well as uh, calibrating your ESE. Okay, so as you can see, I have already installed the receiver. I did not use the extension that comes with the, the package. So I'll be installing this inside together with the ESE. Uh, I just place it there for, for reference uh, while we bind it. So let's uh, put this fuselage back. Be careful uh, in putting back the top plate. You might squeeze the, the wire and just for you to prevent uh, changing wires of your motor. So there, putting it back. So as you notice, uh, this comes with a JST plug, but what I'll be using is uh, a Turnigy 800 milliampere. Uh, this is the recommended battery uh, size, a 3S 800 milliampere uh, LiPo. It comes with an XT60 so what I did for now just for uh, this video I made a adapter uh, but definitely for the maiden flight I will change this to uh, an XT60 plug so there okay So I forgot guys, um, if you're going to do calibrations uh, or you're going to bind, it's very uh, uh, important, always remove your propeller. Okay, so the first thing that we will be doing is creating a model for your transmitter. So we're going to create a new model. Um, so click on create model loading it will ask you uh, what kind of model type you have so plane delta multi we're going to use plane for for this model so first question is you got an engine yes for engine uh, or for uh, the motor it's a uh, channel 3 Next page, you got ailerons. You just need to click yes and assign it to channel one. You don't have any flaps. So next page, you're not, you, you don't have any air brakes. So next page, uh, tail configuration. We're going to use the classic, which is the uh, elevator one and then rudder one. So, for this, the aileron, the aileron, uh, or sorry, the elevator is channel 2, the rudder is channel 4. 
So this is for you to review. Again, throttle would be channel 3. Aileron is channel 1. Rudder is channel 4. Elevator is channel 2. So long press to confirm. We're going to change the, the model name. Okay, so I chose FTC. There you go. Now we are ready to bind your receiver to your uh, transmitter. For you uh, to do that, it's uh, similar to quads. So you need an extra hand for this one, but let's see if I can do it. On the setup page, which is page two, on the bind button so it's now binding I, I turn off the the volume there so for you to successfully bind your transmitter you need to press the binding button and then power it up okay so now it shows a blue light which indicates that you are in S bus mode and since the red uh, light is already blinking with the green light it means you're already bound so we're going to exit this and we're going to turn off this one all right, so let's see if it's uh, already binded. Telemetry recovered. Okay, so now you can see that there's a green light and a blue light. Uh, blue light indicates you are on or you are in S bus mode green light solid green light indicates that you are already bound to your transmitter okay so we're going to try if it's working so it's working uh all we need to do is just check if your ailerons or flaps are uh, moving on the right directions you put the stick to the right this should go up if you put the stick to the left this should go up if you pull down your stick this should both go up uh, if you uh, push your stick forward this boat will go down so let's try right correct left correct pull down it's going to the, uh, a different direction. This is used uh, for you to um, pull your, your craft upward. This is used to pull your craft uh, downwards. So it's not working properly. For us to do that, uh, I forgot that we need to... I forgot that we need to uh, um, create a switch for the stabilization mode and uh, activation of your motor. So we need to go to the mixer, channel 5. We're going to use this one. So this this serves as your auto level, horizon, and then manual. There. 
exit. That goes to your channel 5. Channel 7 is for you to arm your uh, motor. So let's check. Okay, so it's uh, working. So let's check if the three modes are already working. So right now we are in stabilized mode, then horizon mode. and then manual okay let's check if the arm button is working all right so I guess everything is working so going back to uh, the concern uh, a while ago if you want to go up, you pull this uh, uh, stick down, but as you can see, it's doing the opposite uh, movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the weight of your elevator. So you need to go to inputs and then click on elevator edit as you can see here the weight is 100 change it to negative 100 so let's see if it's uh, it will do the the right input if we pull down this will go up if we pull up this will go down right left so I guess uh, we're all good with uh, creating uh, the model and then binding your transmitter to your uh, FTC hunter okay so we're moving to the last part of uh, our video wherein we're going to calibrate the flight controller followed by the ESC so what you need to do is uh, plug in your craft and you'll be using this one so once you uh, once you uh, unbox your FTC Hunter make sure uh, not to throw this away because this is used every time you will calibrate your flight controller place your craft on a flat surface and then place the square uh, foam just under the nose of your craft Make sure you are on stabilized mode and the motor is disarmed. Uh, the process or the procedure uh, is moving the stick to this position and then moving the stick to this position. Okay, uh, you will see that this this uh, wing will uh, move, uh, showing that you have successfully calibrated your flight controller. So let's do it. There we go. All right, so we have successfully calibrated the flight controller. Okay, last would be uh, calibrating the ESE. For us to do that, we need to be on, on your TX, you need to be on uh, manual mode and you should be on arm motors and the, the throttle should be on 100% before you plug your battery. You will hear a sound from the ESC, uh, so let's do it. So it has recorded the 100% throttle. What you need to do next is uh, put it on 
there you go so you heard the the music from the ESC that indicates that you have successfully uh, calibrated your ESC so let's try it. there you go okay so we are done with this video uh, from uh, unboxing the FTC up until uh, calibrating your flight controller as well as your ESC so watch out for uh, the next video which is uh, modifications slight modifications I'll be also putting the, the stickers uh, also the maiden flight so I'll be reviewing how it flies if it will uh, be good for beginners like me or it should be handled by advanced flyers okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button as well as the bell button for you to be notified if there are new videos hope you like this uh, video thank you for watching